Monsanto with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. If you are headed out this afternoon, be a good idea to bring along an umbrella as we do have some showers that are developing right overhead at the moment. Let's get a look at live Doppler radar. You can see these little flecks of green just kind of sprouting up out of nowhere. There's a piece of energy diving down across the northeastern United States and out ahead of it. We're seeing these showers. We got some downpours even out here across parts of Connecticut, just south of Willimantic and over uh, Norwich. These uh, showers may actually develop into to a brief thunderstorm, maybe even producing some small hail as we go through the afternoon hours. They won't last long. Threat tracker for today, relatively low, but we're going to monitor things through the afternoon. Wednesday and Thursday, low chance of severe weather. Then as we go into the weekend, might be seeing some severe weather in the form of a coastal storm. We'll talk about that in a second. Temperatures currently are in the 50s in Providence and Newport, Narragansett. You can see some of these dark clouds out here. Still a little splashes of sun here and there. Here's the hurricane barrier cam in Providence. Gray skies, temperature of 56 with a wind from the south, 9, gusting up to 18 at times. You can see these showers that are developing here in southern New England. Some more showers well off to our west, closer to the uh, main uh, energy center associated with this disturbance. This is all going to be working its way on off to the south and east through the night and giving us a chance of showers. Even in the evening, this is Hurricane Willow. Uh powerful storm making landfall in Mexico right now. Uh, we're going to be seeing some energy and pieces of the moisture work its way across the Gulf of Mexico and actually form into another coastal storm, non-tropical, and working its way toward us over the weekend. Let's take a look at how all this plays out. First for the afternoon with our hour by hour forecast. Notice we've got some showers here and there. Some more showers are possible even this evening. Here we are at 10 o'clock showers, maybe a rumble of thunder and notice it might even find a couple of showers working through Beantown during the late innings this evening. Now by tomorrow morning, I think we're mainly dry, but during the afternoon tomorrow it wouldn't surprise me if there's a quick sprinkle or shower, but I think most of the day tomorrow will be dry. Forecast for today, looking at some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s with some gusty winds. For tonight, a few showers, still the chance of an isolated thunderstorm, mainly during the evening hours. I think after midnight, probably mainly dry. Overnight low temperatures will be down to about 40 degrees. Here's that seven day forecast. Now tomorrow, as I mentioned, looking at mainly dry weather, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a quick sprinkle or shower with highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Thursday looks fine. Same for Friday. Now on Saturday, that's when we begin to see that coastal storm take shape off to our south. The exact track will determine uh, what our exact impacts will be, including the timing, but we are looking at the potential for some heavy rain and some strong uh, winds, especially Especially near the coastline, and there could be some minor coastal flooding as well Saturday in, into Sunday. I think the worst of it's probably late in the day Saturday right now. All right, plenty to track for the end of the week there. Yeah. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Now, in stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5, a warning for drivers in the capital city. You know these pictures right here. School speed zone cameras back online today after that warning period. What you need to know before you hit the road. We'll have that for you. Then new at 530, a follow up to a story the Target 12 investigators first brought you last month. The latest on a local attorney accused of working with a career criminal in a check fraud scheme. And at six, our live team coverage continues from Boston as the Red Sox get ready for game one of the World Series tonight. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. And remember, if you're not home by six o'clock, you can get an update on all the day's big stories every weeknight on Eyewitness News at 630 on Fox Providence. Well, at the University of 